once said to me that when an actor or an actress was asked to do a guest spot on the Morecambe and Wise Christmas show, it was like getting a knighthood. It was a pinnacle of achievement. Well, she's scaled many, many pinnacles in her career, and she's with us now. Miss Glenda Jackson. <laughs> Can you remember what your first memory was of these, of these young fellows here? <laughs> well, my strongest memory, actually, is of aching ribs, because we rehearsed, I can't remember how many days it was, and I've never laughed so much in my life, and I literally was aching by the time we came to do the show. It's really not like working with them. It's like I always say, holiday with pay, really, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a strange holiday, very paid. little pay, yes, but yes, none yes. It's like working for Leyland, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was very nice. Very yes, nice. lovely. Thank what you very much. What was your first impression of Glenda, the two of you? <laughs> Glenda. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, we really didn't think she'd come on the show. No. I mean, we it wasn't us. We, 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 we really didn't have the nerve to ask, did we? No. Our no. producer, Johnny Ammon. Johnny Ammon said... He that. asked. I said, no, don't do it well with us. She said she'd like to do comedy. It was in The Times or one of the newspapers and... Uh, and that was a newspaper, The Times. The Times, yes. 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 Yeah. It still is. It it's still is. It's <laughs> good. And, yeah. and she said she'd uh, like to do comedy and Johnny Ammon phoned her up and said, would you like to appear with Eric and Ernie? And she said... Um, Yes, yes, immediately. Yeah, yes. Yes. It was lovely. And yeah. it had very beneficial after effects, didn't it? Indeed it did, because out of appearing on that first Morecambe and Wise show, um, I got a film out of it, a film called Touch of Class, because the writer, producer, director saw the show and sent me the script and I said, yes, I'd do it. And I got an Oscar out of that. And they sent me a telegram. And uh, it, what was it? Stick with us and we'll get you, you get you third. another one. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, you got yeah. another one as well. Right. The interesting part is that we did the sketch called Cleopatra with Glenda. And uh, this was what got her this wonderful offer from the film. And, uh, it was a play that Ernie wrote. It was a play that Ernie it wrote. It also got me the offer to do Cleopatra at Stratford. Let's not be modest. That's oh, yes. true, that's true. Yeah, be fair. What did others, actors and actresses, think about your period with Morecambe and Wise? Were, did they think it was not classical enough? Or green were... with envy. Green with envy. I've never well, seen well, actors, actors so envy. About, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible Hulk wanted to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't have a shirt big enough. <laughs> <to do it. laughs> well, what, what are you doing at the moment, Ernie, exactly there? Sitting scribbling. here talking to you. Oh, what? Scribbling. Oh, I'm writing a play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing a play for Glenda. Oh, Ernie, that's marvellous. What's it called? Hamlet. <laughs> it's about a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's not a... What I'd like to know is what mm. am I playing? Hamlet. You play Hamlet. 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 But I'm a woman. They all say that. They all say that. <laughs> Don't they? Oh, hey. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Could you perhaps show me something? <laughs> There's no answer to that. No. <laughs> there is, but it's no. Yeah. no I'm sorry. It's cold weather, you know. A scene? A scene? What? A few lines I could perhaps look at? Has the Queen Mother come in? No. Oh. <laughs> Stand up, the Queen Mother. Oh, no, you're American. You don't have to. Don't yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Come in the bit. Don't keep doing it. Now, in this Glenda, yes. I play the part of Polonius. 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 Now, just before your big speech, you stab me behind the arrows. Yes. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is the, your big speech. Your soliloquy, as they call them. Thank you. To be or not to be. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold it, boys. <laughs> Are you doing it now? Doing what? Acting. Are you acting now? Yes. Could, could, you, could you act just a bit louder? <laughs> to be on... <laughs> <laughs> not too loud. You're waking David up. <laughs> Eric, she's not quite getting it right. There's no. a lack of motivation. Yeah, you'll get laughs, but not the last we're after, you no. see. Yes. You see, you've got to do it more like Cagney. To be or not to be. 
And then, into the bygraves. That is the question. <laughs> want to tell you a story. See, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Then after that, you can do who you want. Mm. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> to be or not <laughs> to be. <laughs> 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 To the arm, to the arm, don't be afraid, loosen them. <laughs> yeah. That is the problem, phone. Yes, very good. Very good. That'll get his quota, won't it? Yes, it will, I think so. Yes. I don't think it's going to work. Would you, uh, would you continue? Thank you. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the swings and roundabouts of outrageous fortune. <laughs> Or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by running, hop it. <laughs> and then, enter the song at the end. Give me the moon. The <laughs> legs everywhere. This is indescribable. <laughs> Thought you'd be impressed. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you, you misunderstand. Yes. I cannot appear in this. I have to think of my reputation. We're only asking you to act. <laughs> nothing, nothing sordid. Well, all right, if you don't want to do my play. Please, please, I don't wish to upset you, and I do wish to earn my 30 guineas. 20 guineas. 30. 20. 20. 20 guineas. 30, if you were good. Mm. <laughs> well, is there perhaps... <laughs> is there perhaps something else I could do? You would like an alternative. Is that what you're trying to say, Glenda? If that is possible. Of course there is. I think of something brilliant. Could I have a word? Uh, Certainly. Excuse us. Did you just <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> what do you want, Mark? Great, okay. great, knock yeah. up. What a great number we're going to do. Yeah. What's it called? Side by side. <laughs> I'll tell you what. There's three chairs over there, look. Yes. Now, we will sit in those. Yes. Nothing could go wrong, could it? And we'll sing side by side. Marvelous. Fair enough? Fair enough. You'll do that. Over there. Over there. Thank you. We'll do it together. Right there. Don't keep doing that. <laughs> Just sit there and dream about Nixon. <laughs> Got a barrel of money Maybe we're ragged and funny But we'll travel along Singing a song Side by side Don't know what's gonna do Tomorrow Maybe it's trouble and sorrow But we'll travel the road Sharing our own side Just as long as we're together It doesn't matter at all When they all have their boys and parted We'll be the same as we started Just traveling along Singing a song Side by side Through all kinds of weather what if the sky should fall Just as long as we're together It doesn't matter at all When they all have their bottles and parted We'll be the same as we started Just traveling along Singing a song, song Thank you very much. Thank you. I just went right up there. Yes, I very nearly did. <laughs> <laughs>